Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechDrang.info and before we start with today's Mystery Monday, I just want to show you that I got this awesome new tank. Where's the notification? There it is. Mission reward complete. Got a T7 Comet car. Yeah! <laughs> just did a game for it, in it for just the hack of you know, the heck of it, and yeah, there were a couple of T7 combat cars in there, just a couple, yeah, um, but one thing that many, many, many people overlook in these, let's be honest, shitty little tanks, is, not the team score, details, when we take a look here, and we actually look at, we got 270 base experience, times 3, okay, fine, bonus for being a in a premium vehicle, 188. Now this is not tripled or anything. This is just bonus flat experience based on your base experience. So just think about it. We're getting 188 bonus experience on top of 270. That's like 60, 70 percent bonus experience here on every game, regardless of you know three times, two times, whatever. So yeah, that is not bad. And that's the same with um, some of the, like if we go to the Germans, the Panzerkopfwagen uh, 2 auf D, that piece of shit. I mean, it's a horrible tank, right? I mean, it's a piece of shit. But if we look at my Leopard crew here, we can actually see that my commander is at 93%. Looking at the little number here between the brackets, 93 plus 5. This is actual experience. So 93, 93, 75... 93. Now, why is this thing at 75? Because that's the uh, only crew member that I actually don't use in this thing. If we say return my crew, we take a look at the leopard, you'll see that he doesn't go with us, right? So, I've played this thing not that often. We can take a quick look. This is just a quick lesson into something that seems like shit. Here, it's been 13 games. Um, Something that seems like shit, but you can literally tell the difference here between the crew, and that is uh, return. Literally, the difference between using that piece of shit tank, but that does get a good experience multiplier because the same thing applies to this thing as to this thing. The experience for being a premium vehicle, like tier eight vehicles, it's around ten percent bonus experience. It's not a lot, but they already make more experience, so. Eh. Um, around tier 5, it's usually around 30-ish percent. Um, but here at the low tiers, you can actually get quite a bit of experience. And yeah, these things don't make a whole lot. But as you saw, I just did one game and it was a triple game. True, but I still got 900 experience in a tier 2 tank. Most of a thousand experience in a tier 2 tank. Total. I mean, it's not brilliant. I didn't have a brilliant game at all. I got wrecked because, you know two of those autoloaders shooting at you, you die pretty quickly. Um, still managed to do 211 damage, which eh, wasn't too bad. Not great though, but yeah, like I said, I got two of those damn T7 Comet cars coming after me, and a, what was it, the M2? Yeah, the M2, no, T2 Lite, that one came after me as well. So three autoloaders on me, yeah, you don't survive very long. Um, but yeah, that's just something I want to say, like, don't disregard these pieces of shit for just being pieces of shit, because um, if you're looking for a crew trainer, these things are actually not too bad, even though they're that shit and you're more than likely not going to have good games in them, you still got to have decent experience because of all that. So, that's all I wanted to say, just just a little thought for you guys. I'm not saying you should go, you know, out, out in bulk and buy those low tier shit tanks, because they are pretty shit. Um... But they do get nice bonuses, so even for shitty games, you still get pretty decent crew experience, as you saw. Because only 13 games in that piece of shit made a difference between a 75 and a 93% crew member, or 70 or something. That's a pretty big difference, so yeah, can't complain about that. Anyways, let's get to today's video, shall we? So, I haven't tried recording this yet, but eh, by the looks of it, it's going okay. What do we have here? Well, I really wish we could turn off this stupid video because it's annoying as hell, but here we have a sort of tank arcade, like very arcade game. You can see some video here of it. And you basically have the freedom to build your own tank out of components. So, let's take a look at build. 
You can buy different hulls, turrets, um, propulsion, and weaponry. But right now I don't have a whole lot. I only just started. Um, different pieces have different armor values and mass and speed and everything. So, you know, the heavier you get, the less acceleration you're going to have and all that, you know. It's just a balancing factor of what you want to get. So you have hover propulsion, you have like spider legs, so you can actually walk up walls and stuff, which is pretty cool. Let's actually just go back here, go to part store, let's look at propulsion. So, yeah, we have hover, um, the sort of more normal looking hover. We have spider legs, like I said, those can actually climb walls. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Um, beetle legs, um, yeah, these can climb up walls as well. We have a slime ball. Um, <laughs> I, I don't even know. Um, so yeah, we have all kinds of gear. Um, let's go back here. Uh, you can do different holes, so you have a sort of jet looking intake hull, jet engine. You have a town and country, I have no idea. Um, has a nice wooden trim to it, I guess. You have a flying arrow, and all of these have their own stats, as you can see here, armor points and mass. So you're going to have to balance between getting some armor and the mass of the thing. The heavier it is, of course, the less acceleration you're going to have and that sort of stuff, so... I think this thing has pretty good armor, but, you know, the mass compared to what I have right now. I have 5, and this thing is 7.4. So, mass is pretty much bigger on that one by far. So, I'm not quite sure which body I'm going to use later on, but right now I don't have much gold. Or whatever it's called, 2G. So, let's actually just get into a game and show you what this game is all about. So, I'm going to queue up, and we'll be right back once I actually get into a game. Okay, here we are. We can actually pick where we want to start our starting location. We are blue and we don't have a lot of starting locations. Um, someone near us. I'm hearing shooting. I want to see where they are. There's one. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Not doing a lot of damage. Oh, that was a good hit. I'm just sort of sniping him right now. I'm trying not to sit still here. So I don't really want to get shot in the face. Hit him again. As you can see, he's having a lot of trouble hitting us. And there we go. We got him. So that was pretty good. Um, this is my tank. Little dune buggy here. Oh, there's an enemy over there. And it doesn't seem like there's a lot of falling damage in the game or any. I'm not sure. Oh crap, we're out of ammo. I know there's some ammo down here. That's not good. Nah. Get out of there. Aw. Oh, dang it. Well, that just happened. <laughs> Let's jump into another game. Okay, and we are back. Oop. That's that. Ah, that go into the water. I don't know if you can die. One thing I do find annoying, I'm not sure if it's fixable or if they're still working on it, but. When you're sitting still, you can't actually turn. I find that highly annoying. Let's get him. Ah, there we go. Yeah, let's decap this zone here. Oh, we have bugger up there. Now, since the latest version of this game, like since, ah, yeah. That's one of those damn spiders up there. Since the latest version of this game, um, there's been some... Let's spawn over there. There's a tank right over there. There he is. Ah. Where is he? There he is. Let's probably get him. Ah. Dang it. Yeah, some of these people are way le higher level than I am. Ah, uh, crap. There's somebody coming in from the back. So when you spawn, you actually get a little map that will show you some stuff. I advise you to uh, take a good look at that. Oh. Wow! Hang on. Like, I'm doing jack shit to this guy. So, that's pretty annoying. I'm not quite sure why I was doing that little to him. Should have done at least something to him. I'm not sure, that was a bit bizarre. 
I don't think he had a shield on. Eh, my gun doesn't turn up any higher than that. Shit, out of ammo. And I got somebody on my ass. Ah, yeah, I couldn't go anywhere. Yeah, some of these people are just nasty. And I'm not the best at this game either, let's be honest. I'm new. <laughs> um, but yeah, since the latest version, there do seem to be some lag spikes and some disconnect issues. Like right now, big lag spike. Frame rate is just... Frame rate is not even that bad. I mean, my frame rate is still okay. Um, so I'm not quite sure Ooh, what's going on. But immediately after, it's like fine again, so it's really bizarre. Eh, can't shoot that high. So yeah, those spiders definitely have their advantages. Um, I can't even point my turret up far enough to actually hit them. Ah, that's annoying. You have to hit this right there. Get a shield. So right now there's a spider up there somewhere. I'm just gonna call him spider. And I can't really hit him. Ooh, ammo. Well, don't really need it. Anything over here. Doesn't seem like it. Go here. There's a red. Where is he? Okay, he just disappeared on me. Um, so yeah, the random lag spikes are really annoying right now, and I hope they will fix them soon. Whoa! Friggin' laser! Ah! Did not mean to go down there. Okay, the water is bad. Don't go into the water. <laughs> At least not the deep end. Ah, let's spawn over here. At least we get some safety. Oh, nope, no safety. And I'm not a big fan of the depth of field. Like, you see how the background is blurry? Um, I'm not a fan. I kind of hate that. And we have one of those frame rate issues again. Where it feels laggy. There we go. We just lost massively. Yeah, we'll do one more game. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on with those frame rate issues because even when I'm like feeling excessively slow and everything is slowing down to a halt, I'm still running 100 or at least 40 plus FPS. So it, it, normally I'm at like 140. You can see it at the bottom left corner there, FPS. I'm running between 200 and 180 or so right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what that is or why that's happening. I'm just not sure. Let's grab the shield. There we go. Let's, let's get him. Yeah. A lot of tanks has prepared me for this. Oh, no, wait, it hasn't. He's so much tougher than I am, armor wise. There we go. Let's grab some ammo. If we can, we need to find a health kit. Is that a health kit? Yes, it is. These health things do not do a whole lot, but they give you about 20, so it's not too bad. Actually, grab... Ah! We're not tall enough. Oh, there's another one up here. Yeehaw! We barely have enough traction to do that. This is another annoying thing. Once you get close up to your character, you can't actually see him anymore. Like, it goes transparent. It's really annoying. Whoa, that wall turns around. <laughs> Suck it! Aww! Oh, what? He has a double turret! How is that fair? Oh, come on! Let's spawn over here. Incoming. There he is. Well, okay, he's dead. Good. So yeah, um, interesting game. I'm recording with 200 FPS here still, sort of. So it runs okay. It's just sometimes it has big ass lag spikes. I'm really not sure why. Eh, like this, I, I can't see my tank, so I can't see what he's doing. It's really annoying. Whoa! Well, apparently there wasn't any floor there. 
<laughs> I don't know this map. I've never played on this map, so yeah. Um, crap. Taking that point there. Shoot him in the face. There we go. Let's take this point here. So the rings on here show you when you're taking it, like how far you've capped it. Tip: Don't ever sit still. If you're sitting still, that means you're just an easy target. Um, I need to get a better tank or whatever you want to call this thing, robot, because mine sucks. <laughs> and those lag spikes definitely not helping. Let's cap this thing again. Incoming. But yeah, the depth of field also means that you can't always see these people very nicely when they're coming towards you. Let's get a shield here. Um, but yeah, a very fun game to play. Surprise! Crap, he's gonna grab that ammo. Could have used that. Suck it. There's a health in here. Oh no, it's an ally. Darn it. Ow. Ooh, he's a healer. Sweet. Nice. Ooh, we don't need a health thing. That's pretty sweet. Whoa, this thing is pretty uncontrollable. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm not that bad of a driver. Crap, crap, crap. I don't have ammo, so. Thank you. So, I didn't know there were actually healers in here. I need to keep him alive. Crap, I can't point up any higher. I can't help you. Ah, you got him. Great. A little bit too low. That was a nice in the face. There we go. Oh, crap. Ah, what is shooting at me? Let's grab some ammo again. Whoa, frame rate issues. So, yeah. I'm not sure what the frame rate issues are. This game is still pretty new. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the actual status. There we go. We won that one. Of the game is like if it's just um, pre-launch kind of. I don't know. Let's actually get out of here. I think that was enough for today. It's gonna continuously just load you into the next game. The way you get out of it is uh, hit escape and then you go leave game. Yes. So we have a little bit more money here, six gold. We can take a look if we can buy something new. Um, let's see. I think the tracks that I have are not great. Like the mass is better than what I have. Um, the armor points is better and the speed is better, but they're very uncontrollable. These things they are not very precise. So. See if we can find something better. So we're looking at something with 45 armor, 45 speed, and less than 7 mass, if at all possible. Although, a little bit more mass would not be problematic. So let's go to the parts store. Uh, propulsion. Let's see what we can get. I mean, we can sell our previous one as well. 50 armor, a lot slower though. Um, and I'm not sure if the gear you get also matters for what you can put on top of it. Like, if that actually matters or not. I don't really see a lot of people running around with these, so I'm wondering if they're good at all or not. 34, eh, they're less than what I have. This one lets you cross water, that's kind of nice, I guess. The spider legs are 10, but they're slow. I mean, the max speed is only 22. So, oh, come on, really, phone? Really? Now? Go away. Nope, not gonna answer. Go away. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Hmm. That's a lot more mass, though. Slightly more armor than heavy four-wheel propulsion. Yeah, it does have a little bit more armor. Max speed is 40. Yeah, five less than we have right now. Mass is a bit higher as well. Not sure if the mass also calculates uh, or goes into... <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> um, actually, max speed of 50 isn't bad, but the armor points is lower by 15. 
A max speed doesn't uh, carry a heavy load, yeah. So that's going to be an issue as well. What about these? I can't afford them, but... I mean, I have these. If I sell them, do I just get one gold back? Oh, that sucks. So I technically could get this, which is 50 armor, 40 speed. I would lose 5 speed, get 5 armor, and a bit more mass. Hmm. Ooh, that's some nice ass armor, but eh. Slow movement. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure I want that. I don't know. I'm not sure what is going to be a good idea. Stable? Okay. <laughs> I kind of like the high sp <laughs> including the warning sign on it. That's awesome. Um. Yeah. 65, 28 speed. That's pretty bad. These 25 wow that's slow but holy crap they're armored. That's pretty nice. Um I don't know. Hmm. I don't have enough money, that's for damn sure. Um These are affordable if I sell my current ones just to get one more gold. I can sell these just to get uh, uh I could go with the hover one. Um Speed is going to be less though, so that's kind of sucky. I kind of like the speed, but at some point I want to get the ones that can walk up balls. This one, 32 speed is not bad actually. Hmm. Should I try it? Ah, oh, what the hell, let's try it. Let's go back, back, let's build, and let's put this thing on. Let's give it, no, let's keep it in red. There. So, you can actually buy if you want more colors. Not sure what that does. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Um, and there's more things. There's a payment system behind here, as you can see now. You can also only store eight parts, and you have to buy, like, I don't know, buy basic to get. And I think basic is 15 bucks or 10 bucks or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. So, you can spend a little bit of actual money to make the game. Um, I'm not quite sure what to call it, a little bit more playable, accessible, um, easier on you, something like that. Uh, click here to join the GitHub community on Steam and get a free slot. Click here. Click where? It's not clickable. <laughs> so, yeah, I might have to look into that, but yeah, um, here you can see your plan. So, that is the game. Um, and I actually don't think I've called out the title of this game. It's called Gear Up. So we ah, what the hell? We'll do one more game in this thing and see what happens. I have no idea. Well, here we are, and I've never seen this map before. So that's interesting. Oh, ouch! This is not ideal. Well. Poop. Aw, oh, come on, look at that. But look at that shit. There's two guns, four machine guns. How is that fair? I mean, seriously, that's so not fair. So, I don't think, at least not at this point, that you can have multiple of these robots, tanks, whatever you want to call them. Um, I think you can just have one. So, let's give this a go. Supposedly, we should be able to walk up this wall. Holy crap, we can. That's awesome. Whoa. This is really funky. There we go. Finish him off. Yeah, um, some of these people are just so high level, it's ridiculous. Matchmaking could use a bit of a um, balancing factor. Let's spawn over here. We could head to the enemy camp as well, but... Let's see, uh, we can't see what level people are, but I'm pretty sure some of these... I mean, just look at what he has. That kind of propulsion and shit. Dual turrets. Yeah, that's not the cheap shit. So normally I run this game about 70 FPS, um, but it seems to be lagging again right now. Seems to be acting somewhere slow. There we go, now it's back to normal. 
and now I'm running at 200, 100 somewhat. So, yeah. Yay, killed him. Or, at least got a shot off at him. That is really annoying. Well, we hit him in the air. There we go. Got that little bastard. Let's actually just go up here. Ah, come on. There we go. <laughs> Shot him in the face. Ah, got sniped. I want that laser too. I think it's awesome. Yeah, I need the turret that can have the extra machine guns on the side. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not going too well. There we go. Frame rate issues again. Oh, that was the end of the game. We won! Woohoo! <laughs> Barely did a thing, but okay. Anyways, that was it for today, guys. Um, this was Gear Up. As you can see at the bottom of my screen here. And it's a very fun game to play, I have to say. Um, not sure how long it's going to be fun to play. Because right now it seems to be fairly limited as to what it has for parts and the options you have. Like, I don't have any different slots to have different tanks or machines or robots, whatever you want to call them. Um, I can only have one vehicle as far as I know. Oh, you know what? You might be able to get three of them if you get the higher, you know, paid versions of the game. That might be something... Um, so these things are nice, but not really with this setup, like the turrets and stuff is pretty bad. Um, probably need to get a new turret here soon as well, and a new hull. It all kind of sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, um, and a new weapon, because my weapon is pretty bad as well. But yeah, that is Gear Up. Um, fun little game. Uh, it's on Steam, so if you're looking for it, you can definitely find it there. And, well, hopefully you can have some fun with it. And I don't know what this game is going to be. Um, like what their plans are, what they're doing. Get a quick look at the settings here, by the way. Um, these are pretty much the options you have. Um, this is... No, oh, didn't have shadows at Ultra. Eh, whatever. Um, turned off ambient occlusion. Uh, occlusion. Yeah, just, yeah, I, I can turn it on. Um, Performance-wise, it doesn't really matter. I can have it on Ultra as well. Confirm. It just makes it a bit darker, I guess, sort of. It's a lighting thing. Um, there's not a lot of things you can change here. Uh, you can change your key bindings, of course. For your mouse, you have a bunch of settings. And for a gamepad, so you do have a lot of options. Graphics-wise, you don't have a lot of options, and you can't turn off the depth of field, which I find highly annoying. It actually makes it so that, at a distance, you can't even tell if somebody is on the red team or blue team. So friendly or enemy. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of the... Uh, it, it, basically, that's the thing that makes it fuzzy in the background. So, yeah, that is Gear Up. I keep wanting to say Geared Up, but it's Gear Up. Um... Oh, well, if you guys like it, go check it out on Steam. It's free to play. Um, and that's what I'm using, the free to play version right now. So I don't think I'm going to buy anything other than this for now. It seems like it's pretty unfinished still. Like, there's not that many options and progression, really. There's some, but not that much. And matchmaking could use a little bit of love as well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.